The easiest, cleanest way to control your computer with Touch OC is to use Touch OSC Bridge, and in particular, a wireless connection. Now, I don't recommend using a wireless connection live on stage or relying on it. Um, I would always use a wired connection, but if you're looking for a quick, easy, clean way to do this, either in the studio or to use in rehearsal, or even just as a proof of concept, Touch OSC Bridge is the way to do it. So in this video, I'm going to share a preview of a lesson from my Touch OSC course that I think you're going to enjoy where I walk through how to set up Touch OSC Bridge, how to connect your device running Touch OSC wirelessly to your device running Ableton Live. Let's get to it. Okay, so let's talk about connecting Touch OSC to Ableton Live using Touch OSC Bridge, but with a wireless connection. Now, before I show you how to do this, this is one of those scenarios where I have to ask the question, just because you can doesn't mean you should, or maybe that's more of a statement than a question. Um, here's why I say that. I have learned this lesson the hard way that you should never trust wireless, whether that's Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, uh, a wireless connection live on stage. And um, I, I've been in scenarios where it works. I've been in scenarios where it worked great until it didn't. And that's typically what you run into with wireless. If you're going to use a wireless setting live on stage, uh, whether, again, it's Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, particularly Wi-Fi, it's a little dangerous to me because other people can join that network. And the first scenario where I saw this fail was it worked great until enough people joined the network that it kicked off the first people that joined the network, which would be me. And we lost connection to our media server because we were doing this wirelessly. And we thought, well, this is way easier than having to run a cable please run the cable. It's going to be better. So best case scenario, watch the previous lesson where you learn how to do this wired. But if you're going to do this wirelessly um, and you're going to do it over Wi-Fi, which is what we're going to do, at least make it a private um, uh, network switch. Make it a, a private uh, wireless router that you're connecting to. Don't do this on public Wi-Fi. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, if you do this on public Wi-Fi, it will fail. And don't come back to me and say, well, it failed. I'm going to say, remember, I told you so. Don't do that. So if you have to do this over wireless, which I don't suggest you do, if you have to at least make it a isolated uh, Wi-Fi router that's not your your main router at the venue that you're in. OK, uh, disclaimers out of the way. Let's dive into this. So Touch OSC uh, Bridge is a free um, application that works for Mac or PC. Uh, and you can download, you can go to their site and download Touch OSC Bridge. It's standalone. And essentially what it does is it's going to send many messages from Touch OSC to your computer and from your computer back to Touch OSC. Again, it's completely free. It's available for Mac or Windows. And if you're watching this as someone who used um, Touch OSC and Touch OSC Bridge previously, then install this newest version because this newest version is what's gonna, uh, what I'm going to use and what we're going to use to make this connection. So now on your computer, um, once you have Touch OSC uh, Bridge installed, I'm going to search for Touch OSC. I'm going to go to Bridge to turn this on. Um, I am going to disable USB connections just so it doesn't get confused and we know we're going to connect wirelessly uh, and we're going to leave this running. So this is going to function and act as like a server that's running on our computer that we can then connect to and uh, pipe into Ableton Live. So we're going to leave this running up in our menu bar. The next thing, again, I'm going to do this wirelessly. So I'm connected to Wi-Fi, uh, my preferred network, which is Doggett's here in the studio. Um, that's what I'm connected to. Now, over on my iPad, so let's open up my iPad. Um, I'm going to save you the hassle, but just to let you know, uh, I am connected to the same exact uh, Wi-Fi network, uh, which again is called Doggett. So let's go over to the iPad. Because I'm connected to the same network, here's uh, all I have to do. This is a, a, a pretty simple setup. Again, uh, Touch OSC Bridge is the easiest way to connect to your computer. We're going to click our connections button here to manage our connections. Before we go to MIDI, we're going to go to Bridge, okay? And I'm going to go to Bridge. You can see Connection 1. You need to enable your first connection or whatever connection you're using. Then you're going to click Browse. Now, um, at this point, you should see two options show up, maybe more if you're in a scenario where a lot of people have Touch OSC Bridge on a lot of machines running. But you see USB, which we're not going to use in this case, and then the name of the computer that Touch OSC Bridge is running on. So my computer is from Studio to Stages Mac Mini. So I'm going to choose that. Uh, and you see two different ports here, two different connections. Um, I'm going to choose this top one. Okay. 
Um, and uh, we'll we'll test this out and make sure this works. Okay, so we've established our Touch OC bridge connection. One note here, if you don't see your computer listed in that dropdown, um, if you don't see it showing up there, um, then what you need to do is um, maybe reboot your computer, restart it. Uh, if you just installed Touch OC bridge, definitely reboot your computer and restart. If you don't see it then, then it's likely something with your firewall particularly if you're using a Windows PC um, or you're doing this on a public Wi-Fi network or uh, you're at a church and you're at a venue uh, or somewhere that has like a, a an installed situation with a IT person that is, you know, full-time or part-time working there, it's possible they set up something that's not allowing those ports to connect and to talk. So um, if you don't see, again, if you don't see your computer show up in this list, you know, right here is our list and you're not getting an IP address showing up for that, uh, then you need to check your connection. I don't think that's a touch OC thing. I don't think that's a touch OC bridge thing. It's something with your Wi-Fi, your connection there, which is why you should use wired, but I, we'll discuss that later. So now we've set up touch OC bridge. Let's go to MIDI. Now I'm going to enable connection one. You already see I've got this set up here. I'm going to enable connection one under SYN port. I'm going to do browse and I'm going to choose bridge one, which means I want to use touch OC bridge to send MIDI. And then I'm going to go to receive port bridge one, and I want to uh, receive MIDI on touch OC bridge one. So now I'm going to hit connection one to enable that, and we're going to hit done. So over on touch OC on our iPad, um, everything should be set up and ready to go there. Now, let me take you back to uh, Ableton Live. Okay. Again, touch OC is still running up here. Um, I'm going to go in Ableton Live. We'll go to preferences, command, comma. I'm going to go to link tempo MIDI. And on the input side here, we see Touch OSC Bridge. Now, if I want to see, send MIDI from Touch OSC to Ableton Live's tracks, to uh, this would be to record a keys part, to play a piano thing, to record in a drum beat, then I would enable track here on that input. So I'm going to leave that enabled. Next, uh, we want to, that's the whole purpose of this course, to control Ableton Live with Touch OSC. So in order to do that, we have to enable remote on the input. And we have done that here. Now, next on the output side of Touch OSC Bridge, uh, do we want to send MIDI from Ableton Live's tracks back to Touch OSC? Um, maybe, maybe not. I don't want to, so I'm going to disable that. Uh, do we want to send MIDI from um, uh, things like fader level position so it's in sync with Touch OSC? You betcha. So we're going to enable remote there. Now, at this point, our iPad is connected to Touch OSC. Touch OSC Bridge is connected to Ableton Live. And so uh, those connections are good. We're not going to test it right now because we haven't added a, um, a control to our control surface, but we'll talk about how to test this later uh, once we've got everything set up. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed a look at that lesson from my Touch OSC course. In that course, I show you how to control Ableton Live uh, with Touch OSC, how to design and create your own interfaces, as well as how to control Touch OSC with Ableton Live. So I walk you through how to send MIDI commands to Touch OSC to change pages, to keep faders in sync. Um, if you're interested in Touch OSC, I think you're going to enjoy it. To check out that course, you could head to from studiotosage.com slash subscribe. When you subscribe, you get access to the Touch OSC course plus every other course I have on the site, plus you get credits that you can use in the shop. You get access to the exclusive community, exclusive discounts just for you as a subscriber, plus a monthly call each week, uh, each month, where you can join me and the rest of the uh, From Studio Stage students where we can talk about anything, Touch OSC, Ableton Live, and I will answer your questions. Now, you can get all of this and you can subscribe monthly or annually. For more details, for pricing, head to fromstudiotostage.com slash subscribe. And if this is your first time here on the youtube channel do me a favor hit subscribe to the channel i post a new video every single day 10 a.m central every day monday through sunday 10 a.m central if you like content like this you'll love the channel hit subscribe thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one take care everybody bye